guys welcome back to my channel i'm here at the park working out and i wanted to get on here real quick and share something with you guys when i first started my weight loss journey my friend angel from keep it keto the one that um taught me keto and helped me throughout my entire weight loss journey this was even before i lost the weight okay when i first started my journey she told me mama prepare yourself because when you lose the weight you're gonna get haters you're gonna get jealous people you're gonna get envious people you're gonna get people who never talked to you before who all of a sudden want to be your friends you're gonna encounter all types of people and i'm starting to see it now over the years i'm starting to see it now with the haters on youtube i thought it was so funny because this morning as um i was waking up i you guys know i always post uh videos a variety of videos each day i post a different one it could either be my weight loss journey or narcissism videos or anything of the sort and somebody had commented <laughs> on one of my <laughs> on one of my narcissism videos and she was so triggered it wasn't even funny uh now i know this is not my narc just because of the comment that this person left but she was like oh you know i've been watching you and your narc for a few years now and i used to like you both but now i think you both are narcs <laughs> she's like you're both narcissists you need to shut the fuck up already and and work on losing the weight that you've obviously put on <laughs> uh okay true didn't i tell you guys that i allowed myself to gain some weight during the holidays i was actually gonna do keto when i went on vacation to tennessee and then i was like or maybe i'll just eat like healthier but not really keto and then i was like what and my mom was like look it's the holidays okay it's once a year enjoy yourself and i said you know what i am gonna enjoy myself fuck it either way i know my grind and i know that even if i do put on a few pounds i lose it like nothing because keto has always been my secret weapon to losing weight quickly um i don't know if you guys remember back last year when somebody mentioned something like that on my channel as well as i looked like i had put on some weight and this and that and i was like no actually i haven't i've just been bulking up because i've been working out and stuff like that but you know what i could do because i think the person in their comment was like you look like you've put on like 20 pounds or some shit like that and i was like you know what would be funny though if i intentionally put on 20 pounds and then lost it just so that i could say i lost my weight i slayed the shit out of my weight lost i did it twice and took pictures <laughs> and guess what and it made me realize i don't care anymore what anybody gotta say i'ma do me i'ma do me there you have it what was it that i had said back then i said i killed my weight loss brought it back to life and then killed it again can you do that not once but twice obviously i was not gonna let myself get back morbidly obese how i was back in day one of keto 295 pounds come on now but i did allow myself during the holidays I thought would be the perfect time because I could enjoy myself and yeah <laughs> I did it twice and took pictures can you do that Felicia bye Felicia <laughs> that's funny because that was actually the name of the uh, the person that left me that comment so with that I shall go haters if you have nothing positive to say don't say anything at all why do you even watch me <laughs> i love this though you guys you guys have no idea how much i enjoy shutting the haters up it's so funny that picture that before picture that you saw was actually in december when i went to uh, a beautiful christmas gala that they did at my church and uh i was working up to that and it was a little scary to think I'll allow myself to gain 20 pounds. And I said, you know what? 20 is too scary. I'll allow myself at least 10. But then I went on the holiday weekend and we were like two weeks up in Tennessee. And I truly really was gonna get back on the keto grind and I did not 
want to cheat over there at the cabin when we went for our Christmas vacation. But you know, my mom was like, you might as well enjoy yourself. You know, it's Christmas and I just don't know how you do it. Cause I've been, I've been tough during the holidays. When I first started keto, I never cheated during my birthday or any holidays like that. But then I was like, you know what, whatever, you know? Plus I wanted to do a comeback and I wanted to be like, all right, I like a good challenge, why not? And I did it again, bitches. <laughs> and I'm still working and grinding. And I wanted to wait a little longer just because since I've been working out so much, I love how my body is turning out and everything. And I wanted to wait a little longer just so that it could be more visible, the difference. But I think you guys could see it now. So yeah, the next time a hater comes against me, I'll challenge them. Before you talk shit about me, can you do what I did? You don't have to do it twice like I did, but at least once, can you? Because if you can't, then don't tell me to shut the fuck up. You should be the one to shut the fuck up because I always shut you haters up. <laughs> Bye, Felicia.